I started one day, I was driving along on the tractor and I started thinking about the soil and I thought, I don't know anything about the soil. So I went home and I started to Google things and I couldn't find one thing to say that NPK fertilisers were good for the soil and through terrain I was able to meet up with uh, Kim Cruz and eventually do a region ag um, biofert course and yeah, I went from there. A trip was offered to organise to go to Mexico, Costa Rica, Guatemala, and uh, so I jumped on that trip and then I wanted to prove to myself that this stuff worked. On bananas we're using uh, still some synthetic fertilisers um, but on the tropical fruits I haven't put any synthetic fertilisers on there for nearly two and a half years. With synthetic fertilisers, with the uh, chemicals that are in the synthetic fertiliser you're killing the, um, the natural biology that's in the soil. So we're just trying to rebuild that. Uh, it takes a fair time to build up the biology and get it back to a healthy state. Um, the process of making the bioferts, there's different recipes for different processes that you need to do. Uh, we use paunch from a cow's stomach and uh, with the biology of that, we use that to break down our minerals. We started with these 1,000 litre shuttles with a air bubbler. We just use a bottle of water with a hose it's the same as brewing uh, beer, ginger beer. It's the same fermentation process. We multiply that for four days, and after four days, we break it down and, and split it up into other shuttles. 100 litres into each shuttle, and then we'll go from there. We'll multiply it again for another four days, and then we add our minerals and go from there. And once the minerals are added, it gets sealed, and it stays there for a month. I then put this stirrer in the shuttle. Now they get a 20 minutes uh, stirring, drain it in this vibrating screen. Now this vibrating screen just vibrates. Um, the heavies come out through here into this drum here and the liquid goes into this cone-shaped tank. Now onto that cone-shaped tank I have got this emulsifying pump and now inside this emulsifying pump in here there's four blades with a screen on it anything that's solid that goes through it will get smashed up and then we from there we pump it straight into our storage tanks behind us and then that and then that's the finished product and it can be stored up there for as long as you want and use it when you need to use it the whole idea is to do that process during the slack season store it and then when the season comes we don't have to waste too much time uh, making biofers we can just put it out we also learned how to make potassium humate with our BioFert course, which um, is a very strong um, carbon source, which I put on top of my synthetic um, nitrogen, which uh, aids in um, holding onto it and uh, giving it a carbon source. But I'm making my own surfactants now, and I can make a surfactant for about 60 to 80 cents a litre, all right, and that's what I'm making. A surfactant is a wetting agent that helps the spray coverage on, you know, wets the leaves so that whatever you're spraying out gets a full coverage on the leaf. It's used as a uh, surfactant with the bioferts. The way we're putting our bioferts on is with a 5,000 litre tank and a seven row boom. Now we're putting it on at 700 litres of water per hectare and a 10% dilution with the bioferts. Now all it is is a simple fold out seven row boom and as you can see here, we've got these highly technical sprays, which all is, is a garden rose turned upside down. Now with bioferts, it's, it's not like spraying chemicals or anything. It doesn't have to be precise or anything. You can just put it on there and, and away you go. In them trial blocks, we're doing chromatology. We're already seeing a build-up of uh, biology in the soil in the last two years. We also get to uh, build carbon in our soil. So some of our soils, we're already sitting in, in between um, four and five, six percent. If, if you think it is a bit of hard work, well, I can tell you we've done the hard work and we've nutted a lot of it out and the processes are getting easier. We've got a network of farmers that are doing this up and down the Queensland coast and we have a get together and we share ideas and that's probably the best thing about doing bioferts. We've got a network of farmers in different areas doing different techniques it's nice to go out there with a non-chemical product. It makes me feel better and then hopefully I get a, a marketing advantage for a little while down the track 
and put on a, this product that's sustainably grown.